Hello and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Now we've been looking at string methods, yeah, things that do things to strings. Yeah, this do word is really important because they act like functions. Whereas here we're going to look at the only string property and a property is like a piece of information about a string. Now, unsurprisingly, uh, the property of length returns us the length in characters of a string. So if we've got my name, I know I keep coming back to it. I know it's boring, but trust me, it's much easier when it's boring. Name.length will return Anna. Yeah, but let's 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 give it uh, let's assign it to something. So let name length simple but equal name.length. Now why does this not like it? Okay, let's say my name just to make sure that my program doesn't freak out on me. There we go. My name dot length is uh, four. Yeah, so we have four characters in my name. That's pretty easy. Um, now, length can also be used for arrays. This is something we'll come to later. It's okay if you don't understand what an array is just yet. Uh, but the thing to remember here is that we can use this in lots of different ways. But the most useful way and the way that we will use it over and over again is actually to do things like accessing the last item in an, uh, in an array or the last character in a string. So if I want to get the last character in my name, right, if I, let's say I lengthen this out and I put my whole name in here. Now it's much harder now for me at a glance to know what the last character is in terms of index. So the great thing about length is that it will always be one number higher than the last index because indexes start at zero, but we count, yeah, starting at one. Uh, if I said, um, let last car equal my name, and then I use the square bracket notation that we use for indexes, and then we could do um, my, or oh, we can actually use name length, yeah, here, minus one. This will return the final L from my name. Yeah, so this is this is really important to understand because you will use this kind of um, uh, this kind of concept over and over and over again. You'll also use it when we come to loops. The length property becomes super important. So this is really a very useful thing to have in your tool belt and to understand this second concept here is also important. So have a look at it, rewatch it, do whatever you need, but length minus one will always be the last character or the last item in a list. So thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful. Bye.